Recorded Books and RB Digital present Someone to Wed, a Westcott novel by Mary Ballog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One The Earl of Riverdale, the butler announced, after opening wide the double doors of the drawing room, as though to admit a regiment, and then standing to one side, so that the gentleman named could stride past him. The announcement was not strictly necessary. Wren had heard the arrival of his vehicle, and guessed it was a curricle rather than a travelling carriage, although she had not got to her feet to look, and he was almost exactly on time. She liked that. The two gentlemen who had come before him had been late, one by all of half an hour. Those two had been sent on their way as soon as was decently possible, though not only because of their tardiness. Mr. Sweeney, who had come a week ago, had bad teeth, and a way of stretching his mouth to expose them at disconcertingly frequent intervals, even when he was not actually smiling. Mr. Richmond, who had come four days ago, had had no discernible personality, a fact that had been quite as disconcerting as Mr. Sweeney's teeth. Now here came the third. He strode forward a few paces, before coming to an abrupt halt, as the butler closed the doors behind him. He looked about the room with apparent surprise at the discovery that it was occupied only by two women, one of whom, Maud, Wren's maid, was seated off in a corner, her head bent over some needlework, in the role of chaperone. His eyes came to rest upon Wren, and he bowed. "'Miss Hayden?' It was a question." Her first reaction, after her initial approval of his punctuality, was acute dismay. One 